Hey guys, I'm Adventurani, I'm playing Mercury of the Oko, Quest for Infinity for the Nintendo Wii, and this game is brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Uh, before we get started, the first thing on my mind is, of course, to tell you what the name of this, uh, this wonderful academy is, and that would be, uh, Lycee, uh, Lycee et Collage Canal. Uh, I'll probably have spelling for that, so you can Google that and check it out. It actually looks a lot like the college from the show, or it's not really a college, it's more like a boarding school. The kids in the show attend a boarding school. Anyway, we're going to talk to some of the people on the campus. Say, you haven't seen Sissy by any chance. I did all her homework and have to give it to her before chemistry class. No idea. Really? Sissy, where are you? I'm a real slave. Ah, he's black and everything. No offense, but... De La Rubia, how's our little secret doing? Yeah, we had a secret? Well, no problem, Jim. All locked up and I threw away the key. Uh, what are we talking about? Nobody will hear a word about Paco, King of Disco. Uh, okay. Shh. For God's sake, De La Rubia, not so loud. There are people around, and I don't want news spreading about my acting career. What an actor career it is. Basically, Jim has a disco video where he does disco, and there's an episode about it, so if you watch the show, you'll know. Hey, do you know where Sissy is? You're the reporter. You're supposed to know these things. Oh, I resigned. Oh, yeah? We already talked about it. Jeez. Leave me alone. That's what nice. What, what a great teacher. It's you. You! I can't take it anymore. I haven't slept all week because of you students. You're in my nightmares. Oh, I'm all alone in front of you, thousands of you, right there looking at me with your vicious that's little not, eyes and your fault, pointy man. little teeth like vampires. That's not my fault. Hey, me too. I had a nightmare last night. Kiwi had turned into a giant Kiwi's and was flying around the sky dropping poison meatballs. And there I was, swimming around in an ocean of fish batter. But I couldn't drown. The stuff was too thick. Mm. Oh, thank Leave me alone. The weird thing is that uh, you're not actually allowed to have dogs on the campus, and Odd has to keep Kiwi a secret, which he manages to do for like the entirety of the show. So that's pretty incredible. But then he just kind of admitted there it to her somehow. Are. Finally. Hi, Jeremy. So what was it you had to tell us that was so important? I hope it's good news. I put the finishing touches on Lyoko. There was still some Franz Hopper info to decode, and I had to develop a code cracking module for the binary and dynamic data. And are you finished or not? Yeah, a couple of days ago. Cool. So, what have you been working on lately? Eilita and I have figured out a way to track William. Spit it out, Einstein. What is it? We have to cross the digital sea. Are you crazy? Do that and we'll be divirtualized forever. Don't panic. Eilita and I have been working all week. We fixed up a ship that will take us across the digital sea unharmed. And we'll bring oh, two animals right. of every gender with us. Show me, show me. Uh, I mean, it's not quite ready just yet. Okay, let me guess. You need us to get some data back from Lyoko, is that it? Yeah, that's it. Oh, by the way, this checking, isn't out of sync. And we're it's missing actually some of the, the dipolar data blocks. Well, what are we waiting for? Okay, I'll start the procedure. If any of the audio seems to be out of, the, out of sync with the text, then, um... Yeah, that's not my fault. That's actually in the game. I'm seeing that too. Oh, by the way, uh, yeah, you can go back to Caddick that way, but I don't know why you'd want to, because there's nothing to do. So we're going to go onto the scanner, and uh, yeah, so basically, this might seem kind of complicated and hard to navigate, but basically, we don't want to go here, because there are no bonuses like that. Well, first of all, second of all, there's nothing, you know, oh yeah, pretty much where it does. You can always tell which layer you're supposed to go to, because it'll have the Xana signal on it. New mission, objective. Finish the ship so you can cross the digital sea and search for William. If you cross in the show, if you fell into the digital sea, then you would be divirtualized forever. So, uh, you know, that sucks, but whatever. Scanner on. Oh, by the way, um, yeah, there's a lot of stock footage in this. I don't know if I already mentioned that or not, I forget, Scanner but yeah, you're going to be seeing this a lot. Also, something that's kind of worth noting, we'll see in a second here. You see Yumi in her regular clothes, Scanner and you. then... You see her in her gym clothes for some reason. I don't know why, but you know, whatever. Maybe the animators got confused. Scanner, I, I don't really know how to explain it. Virtualization. Virtualization. And loading screen with Ulrich's head. And uh, everyone else, you know, they're kind of camera shy. So yeah. Also, they can't all be virtualized going? at the same time. So we that's kind of strange because the only there are only uh, three the scanners. By the so way, that last picture doesn't make sense. I wasn't able to recode your powers and skills. The data was lost when Lyoko was destroyed. Oh, man. Oh, no. Yeah, exactly. Don't it panic. sucks. You should be able to pick up the data packs, which will let me reprogram you. Plus, it's a video game. So, uh, yeah, that's how that works. Okay, so we can switch characters by using this, the, um, you know, this. Switch to Odd, Yumi, 
I'll eat it, but for now I'm gonna stick to Ulrich. I said, Ulrich! Damn it, woman! Okay, let's go. Make rapid movements with the Wii Remote as if you were swinging a sword in front of you and press B. While you swing, try to make combos with three or two or three by changing different movements. Okay. This creeper has a special armor. According to Armor's spelled the European way, so you know what that means. European game! Oh boy. No, that's a bad thing. But yeah. So you actually have to shake it in different ways for a combo to be made. You can't just shake it up and down and up and down. Ulrich, you have to let Odd, Aelita, or Yumi turn on the switch. You can't do it with your sword. It's kind of strange. In the show, they could just use their hands, so I don't know what's up with that. But we're going to switch to Yumi since they haven't used her for anything yet. And yeah, shoot it. There we go. See? Pretty tough stuff, I know. Get ready to shoot these guys. Hold B and move the cursor over your enemies to lock on. Once you are locked on, release B to throw your fans. Right then, so let's kill all of them. Right now we have four fans, which means we can go over four enemies. You can also go over an enemy twice to get two hits on it, or three times, or however many times you go over it. Our maximum right now is four, though. By the way, you can also like dodge roll. I don't know if it shows you how to do that yet, but uh, I'm gonna be doing that a lot because it kind of speeds things up, or at least it feels like it. So yeah, to do that you just press C. You just recovered some goodies. Yep. When you get back, I'll have them analyzed by the super calculator, and you'll be able to check the results from the schoolyard. Oh, that's that's really nice. Basically, all that stuff is just a bunch of images from the show. If you want to see images, I would recommend watching the show because it's not boring and hard to collect. It just costs time and money. And you have iTunes. Or you can download turns. Be a faggot. When controlling Alita, hold B to change, no, charge a powerful ball of energy. The longer you charge, the more powerful it will be. And we throw it. I like using Alita the problem. least. They don't have any but armor. We're gonna use Alita for this part. I'll probably be using her the least, like I just said. So uh, yeah, don't get her to see her too much. She's just as useful in the game as she is in the show. Yeah, for some reason the characters really are really interested in the cursor. So where you have the cursor, the character will look. Alright, so we gotta switch to odd. Uh, the odd can climb up these. For some reason he doesn't like to climb. He likes to just hop and be like, woohoo, I'm a leprechaun. Well actually he didn't say that at all, but still, I mean you know, I'm putting words in his mouth. Odd and I are good enough buds for me to do that though. And by that I mean I don't know. Also, right here is a good example of me. I'm holding forward right now, but um, the camera's since the camera switch while I was holding forward, I'm still moving to the right for some reason, which is actually really annoying. Anyway, for this area, these platforms will disappear, and we need to shoot that. I think that you need to be hurry quick about this, but I don't remember because I've never failed it. Oh man, I missed. Dang it. If you want Odd to run like that, then you gotta put away the cursor, because Odd is very distracted by the cursor, like a cat with a ball of yarn. I need more data to clear this obstacle. Well, I need more data! Alright then, yeah, because if you go on that, it'll just be really fast, and you can't do that right now. But, it's only an item, so we're not going back for it, because that'd be dumb. Here. Yeah, yeah, the digital sea, we know all about it. No, this hole doesn't lead to the digital sea. It's just empty. Oh. So if you fall into it, that looks you'll wander like forever in the digital void. That looks nothing like Aelita. Wow, that looks nothing like Odd. That looks like Jeremy. Right. With the new data, I was able to put the finishing touches on the ship. Right. Now we just have to christen it. Oh, okay. What about the USS Meatball? <laughs> Whatever. What do you know about it anyway? When I was little, my dad told me tales about a magic draft car that sailed the seas and never lost its way. It was called the Skid Vladimir. Yeah, that sounds good. What do you think? Skid? 
Yeah, sounds cool. And it's easier to say. Cool. Get ready then. I'm sending you to the skid. We'll finally be able to try it out. Alright, so another thing about the game is that obviously a lot of the stuff happens differently. In the show, they didn't, like, she doesn't just like, be like, skid blad in here, it's perfect. In, um, in the show, she like actually found a book and stuff, and I don't want to spoil it, so, you know, like, once again, just watch the show. Great show, really good show. Energize. Oh yeah, also, it, sometimes the game, uh, the game text disagrees with Jeremy, by sometimes I mean a lot of the time it does. I think that has something to do with the French to English translation, because this game is probably done French first. All right. And woman, sun heating unleashes the power of the sun. And this looks horrible on the Wii. But it's not on anything else but PS2. And I guess it's on some, uh, I think it's on PSP as well, but whatever. It's better on the way. Careful, looks like you have company. Ailita, release the nav skis. It's kind of weird. There are like a bunch of errors and it's not in word at all. When in the show, like, you'd get one error and be like, oh god, what's happening? There must be a bug in the program! Anyway, we're playing as Yumi now. You control your nav skids in a hurry if you want to get rid of the monsters. Don't panic. It's not rocket science. You'll see. Okay, so point the remote towards the screen to steer and move to attack hold B and move over the cursor or many enemies. Once you are locked on to the enemies, release B to fire torpedoes. Sometimes the shots of enemies cannot be dodged. Destroy them! Right then, so this is similar to Yumi's gameplay, only we're in a skid. And the annoying thing about the skids is that you also control them with the cursor. So if you're going to shoot at something, you're also going to have to move towards it. And the thing with that is that when you move towards something you're going to shoot, it's probably going to be shooting back at you. Luckily, there aren't any obstacles in the way until, like, you don't shoot anything. Like, I can't run into that, and I can't run into that. So make sure to collect these. It's health and stuff. It doesn't help you too much. Also, it's kind of hard to get between things, because I'm not really the greatest at aiming this. Also, it's good to hit the targets, or the torpedoes, whatever you want to call them. They're like lasers, so they're not really torpedoes. Because, uh, you know, they're not really objects, but, you know, call whatever you want. Okay, looks good. No monsters on the horizon. Thank goodness I was getting tired of, you know, navigating in Kool-Aid. Recovery. The strange thing about this is, she sent out three nav kids, but she only gets what two back. Journey? Another sector? Only one way to find out. That's another thing. Jeremy's pretty dumb about this kind of stuff. Like, there'll be like, do you think Xana's launching an attack? And instead of obviously just saying, yup, he just says, oh, I think I should check. The desert. Like on Lyoko. Come on, get going. Hey, Nathan shut up. Jerry's kind of a little bitch, because he's always behind the computer, and then he's like, guys, hurry up. Guys, we have training to do. Come on, guys. Alright, so we gotta ascend this now. By the way, I'm trying to use the shield here. You have, you have a shield in this game, by the way. And, uh, yeah, I just, like, oh, if you use it, like, if you hit it, you can deflect bullets. Like, if you use the shield immediately after they shoot, then, yeah, they'll deflect bullets. So that's pretty rad. It doesn't always work very well. I don't actually recommend using it that much, but there are some times you'll have to use it, so just keep that in mind. You also can't hit two more than one enemy, which is also kind of annoying. Actually, I think we're going to come over here. Uh, that was my mad laser shooting skills. I gotcha. Oh, you see. All right. Oh, God. You didn't shoot me at all, buddy. You're kind of bad. Anyway, you can go all the way to the top, but I don't remember if you get anything, and I don't think it's worth my time. In fact, I don't think you get anything. Excuse me. Uh, yeah. Sorry to inconvenience you, but I have places to be. Oh, 
no, this can really screw you over because if you keep holding up, then you'll go that way and just fall off. Which is very annoying. But you'd have to be dumb to not catch on after a little while. Or be me on my first attempt at this. Okay, so we're going to be taking on the crab and the camper a lot. So I'm going to switch over to Yumi because she's pretty good with crabs. Ah, jeez. That'd be gay. Ah, no, please don't. There we go. And can't go like die. Leap! And, uh, we'll learn about how to do that later. But it's really pointless, because, once again, just an item. So we're gonna come over here and find the rest of the to grab. And then come back in this direction, as if I actually know what I'm doing. Right, guys? I think I want to switch back to odd actually because this one has to snip a teleporter. Away. You can use it to materialize in another zone on this level. Cool. Just like in the show with the guy with the pointy ears. There are a lot of shields like that, aren't there? What could you be referring to? I'm like a master of references, guys, so this is a tough one. Yeah, I have some right, so go. Very and nice. yeah. your life points gauge is just shot up. Now you're so, uh, Yumi's more best for the cubes, too. Also, they call them life points in this game. Like, your health, not these points, not to be specific for those, but life points, like your life up here. And life points are your health. Basically, you can remember from the show that Jeremy would always be like, Ah, oh, you're losing life points! Only 10 point I life points left! To clear this obstacle. And he always knew the tissue because Jeremy was a very nasally child. Alright, I'm gonna switch to Yumi. Because she's pretty good for all these guys. <laughs> Also, if you, if the, I don't know if I, I think I probably already mentioned this, but if an enemy, if like, if you're trying to lock around to an enemy again, but you can't, that means it doesn't have enough health, which is a good thing. All right, let's try to take out the crab before this time. All right. And the two, for some reason, they share the same amount of life points, too, which doesn't make any sense, but whatever, because if you play games for realisticness, then I would have to question you and look at you with a funny expression on my face. And then you'd feel really awkward and probably not too welcome. Alright, so uh we're gonna be fighting uh -oh. William. I'm picking up a rapidly moving object coming towards you. What There's is no it? fat February. Be careful, will you? Oh, okay, no, it's I, sorry, false. Up there, it's him. Alright, so we're gonna take on William. Uh, I'm gonna take him on with Ulrich right now. Basically, in the show, and this is weird, I have a pretty good combo on him. And I thought you could only go up to Wow! That, he's, 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 wow, jeez! <laughs> Holy crap! Alright, so basically in the show, Yumi is the one that took him on the most, so I'll probably be using Yumi for him, because she actually does work the best. Ailita, it's your turn. You'll be seeing this a lot, too. And this. to analyze the coordinates that we sent you? I've just launched the search on the supercalculator. No need to thank us. Did it just say supercomputer? <laughs> Sorry, got carried away. Thanks, guys. You made it work. Xana has pulled out all the stops to defend this new territory. Yeah, I know. I hope that with the information you got, we'll find out why. Anyway, for now, I'm Adventure I'll see you guys next time.